So we've got Anaconda installed and we just have one last little thing we need to do before we install VS Code and then we are home free with our installation on the Mac OS. So because we've downloaded and installed the most recent version of Anaconda, we're actually using a, a newer version of Python than we want. We can actually check our version of Python and you can guess, right? We're starting to see this, this uh, hyphen hyphen version pop up pretty often and you shorthand I actually prefer single hyphen with a capital B it'll do the same thing but we can see that we're actually working with Python 3.83 as the default version that comes with this anaconda installation but in the DSI we want to use Python 3.7 and that's just because that's what our materials are written to uh, in general there's a few modules that take a little bit a little while to catch up and support the most recent versions of Python, um, particularly TensorFlow, which is Google's uh, deep learning neural network framework that's used in the DSI. That's the, the one that's taught in the DSI. And they've only recently uh, started to support 3.8 and we just haven't had a chance to update the materials to cover that just quite yet. The, the changes are very minor, but we just want to make sure everyone's on the same page using Python 3.7. Uh, and these are the type of things that you'll also come across working in the field as a data scientist uh, relatively often. Uh, typically, people are a little bit afraid to be on the cutting edge of the newest version because they'd rather use something that's maybe just a little bit older that they know works for sure. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make sure that uh, a, a version of Python that we want is actually available. So I use this command conda search Python. That's going to give me all of the packages that I have available to me uh, that have the name Python in them, right? And I can see I have all these different versions, all these 2.7 versions of Python, as well as 3.6 7 and 3.8. There are some 3.9 and 3.10 versions of Python out. Those are not stable yet. So they're sort of in beta, I guess, is how you could call that. But it looks like the one that we're going to go for here is this 3.77. So um, now that I've got that one picked out, I want to actually go ahead and use Conda, my package manager, for the first time to install a package and the package we're gonna install is Python. Now, so typically when I want to install a package, I have to make sure whichever environment I wanna install it to is the environment I'm in. And I wanna set the default version of Python in my base environment here and I am in my base environment, so that's good. And I could typically just say conda install Python, but in this case, I do want to specify a very specific version, and that is 3.7.7. So once I do that, we're going to see this sort of start to take over this process automatically on its own. Uh, there's a good chance it's actually going to run into a couple of bumps along the way, and we'll just sort of let it go ahead and work all the way through those things. I'm going to turn off the mic and you know, I suggest that you would probably turn this video up to like two times speed just to help you get through it a little bit quicker. And um, see, there's one of the errors that I was talking about, right? It says solving environment failed with initial frozen solve, retrying with a flexible solve. So it's going to do this for a little while longer. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off my microphone here and we'll just let this go for a little while if and when I need to. Uh, come back in. I will go ahead and do so. All right, so you can see that we did have some issues that it was able to work through on its own. And in the end, it ended up saying, um, hey, I was able to solve this environment. These are all the things that I'm going to install. I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes. It's gonna go ahead and start extracting these packages. It already has them downloaded, uh, or maybe it is actually downloading them. I'm not 100% sure, but 
we're actually extracting these packages it's going to go ahead and do this install i'm going to go ahead and kill my microphone again uh, i just did get a prompt do you want to uh continue yes or no i hit y enter so i'll kill my mic we'll let this process continue and uh talk about it a little bit very quickly when it is finished And we can go ahead and see here that uh, it says that it prepared that transaction, it verified it, and then executed the transaction, and those three steps are done. And it now put me right back where I started, and I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. Now, if I say Python hyphen V, it says my main Python version is 3.7.7. So this is going to be a necessary step. You want to make sure that you have the right version as we move into the DSI so we don't have any compatibility issues. We'll look forward to seeing you in the next